Hello everyone and welcome back to a little bit of a spendy video. I had a splurge the other week. If you follow my Instagram and the blog, you will know what I'm talking about. I bought my first ever designer handbag. Woo! Um, I am like obsessed with handbags. My family have called me the handbag queen ever since I was little. So this was a very exciting moment for me and I love watching handbag reviews and designer handbag videos on YouTube. So I thought I'd do my own one. And yeah, I'm also gonna do a what's in my bag video at the same time. So, this is the bag. It is a Michael Kors Greenwich bag, and it is beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. I bought it second hand, so if you wanna know the price and the details of where I got it, I will link the blog post down below, and you can take a look at that. It is made of Saffiano leather, so it's really durable, and it's really sort of structured and strong, which I love. It's very similar to that classic Michael Kors tote, but this one has a little bit of a twist in it. If you take these two clips on the side and bring them together in the middle, it creates a kind of bucket bag. It's like my own little Transformers handbag. And I think that's so cool. Um, I love all of the gold hardware. It's got little mic of calls across there and the classic little keychain hanger on bit. And it also has a shoulder strap. It also has little feet on the bottom, so it will sort of keep the bottom looking nice if I put it on the ground, which I haven't done yet because it's like my baby and I just sort of cradle it. It closes with a magnet clasp at the top and then it's got one zip up pocket on the side. So it's quite open, but I just love the shape of it. I think it's really classic and it's something that I'm gonna have for years to come. Although it has started a little bit of an addiction and I just wanna buy more handbags, but I have resisted thus far. It's been a week. Baby steps, baby steps. Anyway, now we are going to take a look inside the handbag and yeah, I'm going to show you what I carry. So, here we go. First thing in my handbag is my phone. It is a Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and I just have a little case from eBay because it's so hard to find cases for these. Then I have my headphones which just came with a phone. I also have these sunglasses. These are just really cheap cotton on ones that have so many scratches on them because I dropped them in a crowd at SeaWorld and they got stood on but they still do the job. For my wallet, I have this beautiful little Kate Spade one. I love the size of this. I picked it up when we were in Melbourne and it's got cute little polka dot lining and it just fits everything I need in there. And yeah, and it matches my hair bag. Such coordination. I kind of carry around quite a large makeup bag. This is the Zoella Beauty one with a little kitty pig. And if you watched any of our previous What's In Our Bag videos, it's pretty much got the same stuff in there. Ooh, a pen. A couple of lipsticks I've been using at the moment. This is the YSL, what's it called? Rouge Pure Couture in the color 13. And then this collection one in lasting color, Pretty in Peach number two. I also have my Rollerball, which is Vera Rang Princess, as well as my Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder, which is really good because there's like a little sponge in the bottom. Loads of other, oh, more lipsticks. And like every other YouTuber, I carry around 7 million lipsticks, which I don't need. Also in my handbag, I have our little vlog camera, which is the Canon G7X, which is an amazing camera. We love it for vlogging. It's got the little selfie screen. And pretty much like 90% of people on YouTube use this, but there's a reason behind that because it's really good. Because I have to catch the bus into the city for both work and uni, I always have a book or something to read in my bag to pass the time on the bus. I just finished reading The Red Queen by Philippa Gregory, which is a historical fiction novel set in the 15th century. And it was pretty cool, pretty cool. I'd recommend that series. I also have a Vogue subscription to Vogue Australia, my favorite magazine. So often I have one of those in my handbag, except I'm like three months behind, so this is an old issue, but love it. And that is everything I have in my handbag at the moment. Although I think I have some receipts here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Woo! Happy, Happy New Year. Year. So it is now officially 2016, which is kind of crazy, kind of exciting. But for now, we are going to be talking about all of our favorite things from 2015, from fashion to beauty to books, to everything and yeah let's get into it <laughs>